Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Ladies and gentlemen. First pitch coming your way next. Washington National. Ready to go now. And pitching in this game, Evan Lee. What do you look for here? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Leading off, Richie Ashburn. Left hand hitter waits. Two, one. Straighten him up a little bit. The two one. That's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. Lifted in the air, right center field. Robles glides to his left, squeezes it, and there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. It features a great veteran presence, Ryan Howard. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. And the pitch. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One out, runner at second. And digging in for Philadelphia, Mike Schmidt. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. There's the swing and a miss. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. The pitch popped up foul territory behind the play Carter makes the play and there are two outs Well, that was a pitch you got to crush unbelievable that he missed it right there and I'm telling you he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat and now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies Ryan Howard good power not great in the OBP department Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ripped to third and caught. Phillies strand one. And now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first. Our starting pitcher in this one, Cole Hamels. What should we keep an eye on here? been a very solid pitcher throughout his career era around three and a half what i like is he competes he stays in the game and he gives his team an opportunity to win bottom of the first and now up for washington alcides escobar the pitch Ground ball up the middle. What a stop. The throw in time. Got him. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Nelson Cruz. Well, he's just been a consistent and dominant power threat throughout his career. I mean, over 400 career home runs. 
I mean, that just doesn't happen to an average power hitter. This guy's been elite, and we'll see as he continues uh, if he's going to make it into Cooperstown into the Hall of Fame. On the ground, right side, dives, and he can't hang on. The flip to the pitcher covering, and a couple of quick outs. Batting third, the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Next to hit for the Nats, Vladimir Guerrero. And a pitch. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That one the other way. And a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the batter now, Gary Carter. Rudder takes off. That's in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Good steal a second right there. And now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Two two down. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the inning. So one left for Washington. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Next pitch has popped up. Bell puts it away, and there's one down. That is it. The right fielder, number three, Bryce. And now here is Harper. Second inning here, no score. And one and two. A one two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. One down, base is empty. And a ball Good evens the count. That one missed. And a foul ball. He stays alive. No score here in the second. Out to center. Hernandez under it. Calls it in, two away. That seven. The second baseman, Chase Utley. Chase Utley stands in for the Phillies. This guy has turned into a beast. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground. That's a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive.
Shane Victorino now at the plate. A switch hitter batting right. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Two outs. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Rolled over to third. On the run. Throw to first. That's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in Washington, D.C. And now here's the veteran D.H. Nelson Cruz. And now the lefty in the air out towards right center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting six. No left fielder. Yadiel. Yeah, the batter now. Yadiel Hernandez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value and the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next pitch off the play, and it's two and one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson, a consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Next pitch misses. Full count now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Right side, hard hit. It's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just one of those at-bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Man at first with one gone. Up now for Washington, Cesar Hernandez at the belt and fires. Ground ball could be two. One at second. Nice grab. They get the out, and that'll do it. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in Nationals Park. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. So digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Top of the third, no score. In the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. 
the batter, number 11. Shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Jimmy Rollins. And a pitch. That just misses. Two and one. Kicks and deals. Called strike right there. And here it comes. Line drive, base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner at first with two away. And now for the Phillies, Mike Schmidt. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Carter's throw. Not in time. Stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. That one fouled off, two and two. Rollins at second with two down. Stays alive. Next pitch just misses. Full count now. And Mike Schmidt had the rare blend of elite defense and big time power. An eight time National League home run leader. Only Babe Ruth has more home run titles. Got him. And that is that. Philly strand one. Still no score. Set for the bottom of the third. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties. And yet the righties give him trouble you know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Swings and lines a base hit into left field and the leadoff man aboard. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So digging in, Michael Franco. Next pitch misses inside, and the count two and one. Oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see them one after another. So you would imagine with that. Robles runs. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's off the wall. Utley relayed a second in there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And now the shortstop, Alcides Escobar. Next pitch is downstairs. The 2-1. Next offering is outside. The pitch. The other way. Makes the catch for the out. Josh Bell at the plate now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here.
And that one is lifted in the air. Harper should have this one. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. Throw home. Not in time. The run scores. And it's 1-0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And now up for Washington, Vladimir Guerrero. Next offering way off the plate. Runner at second, two down. Next one misses. Three balls and a strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Three and two now. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two outs and one in scoring position. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this Good inning still has life. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Gary Carter. Good contact guy, good defender. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. Franco on second. Guerrero on at first with two down. Harper on the run towards the line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that ends the inning. Three innings complete. It's the Nationals one and the Phillies nothing. set for the start of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Ryan Howard. The wind of the pitch. In for a strike. And it's one and two. The count is one and two. And that misses off the outside edge. That one lifted to left. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Oh, the throw is wild. Round second, digging for third. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. Really nice job of hitting right there, but you've got to be a better base runner than that and understand the situation. With nobody out, you've got to be able to shut it down, stay at second, keep yourself in scoring position instead of killing a potential rally. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Into center and a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez makes the play, and there's two away. Now that second baseman, Chase Utley. And now here is Chase Utley. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah. 
and that's outside. Comes a 2 2. Got him. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains 1 0. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the DH, Nelson Cruz. Next pitch downstairs. Two balls and a strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Hard ground ball, base knock. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right okay. there. Pretty okay. tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Yadiel Hernandez digging in for the Nationals. Here's a 1-1. And that one off the outside edge. Cruz on at first. Nobody out. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass. And uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy. But he gets soft contact and he gets out. Cesar Hernandez up to the plate. The pitch. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Here comes a pitch. Fly ball to right. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Shane Victorino. The wind and the pitch. And delivers outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tanner Rainey, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Clay getting loose as well. Two and one now. It's softly on the ground to third. Slings it across. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now batting. The catcher. JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Bounce to the left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. So the Philly batting order turns over. And now, Richie Ashburn. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two away. Now at the plate, Jimmy Rollins. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And he deals. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. 
and a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hernandez racing over to make the catch. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Victor Robles. The 2-2 now. And Robles spoils it. He stays alive. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Harper under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Now the third baseman, Michael Franco. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Alcides Escobar digging in for the Nationals. And there he goes. And now the lefty swing and a miss struck him out. And there's two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs now in that location. Perfect. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready yeah. to pull the trigger. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. At the belt and fires. And now two and two. Franco, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground to third. They take the force out. That ends the inning. Nationals leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Back in Washington, D.C., top six. Here's a big power threat, Mike Schmidt. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a count one and two. Next one is off the plate. Two and two. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Ryan Howard. Left-hand hitter waits. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. 
Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very now hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Smash to the left side, and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Nationals one, and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Vladimir Guerrero. Next offering misses, and the count is three and one. There's the strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Come back to the mound. Into the outfield, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gary Carter. Throw to first. Guerrero. Back easily. Two on the first offering. Runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. So a change being made out at second. Coming in as the pinch runner, Juan Soto. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Zach Wheeler up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Suarez, the lefty, warming up as well. Three and two now. In the air, right field. Harper settles under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Nelson. Next for the Nationals is the D.H. Nelson Cruz, one for two. Soto over at second, one down. Next pitch misses, ball two. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. And the pitch. Up the middle. Whips it to first. And he's out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Number 29. Hernandez. 
Yadiel Hernandez will hit next. One one now. On the ground right side and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third and they take a two run lead fires the second too late into second with a double and that was hard hit well done drives in the run there's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield that was ripped cut out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked but definitely put a good swing on manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Cole Hamels will depart and as he heads for the dugout we'll take a quick break new arm on the mound when we get back Zach Wheeler will take over here, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Man in scoring position with two away. Next to hit for the Nats, Cesar Hernandez. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The one two got him. Good job at damage control right there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a two nothing ball game. Juan Soto now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. We go to the top of the seventh. Bryce Harper to the plate. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. But why the kick the pitch? So a foul ball makes it one and two. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Just misses with that one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. And a swing and a miss. One down. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Now here is Chase Utley. Next offering is foul back. On the ground to third. Gets a glove on it in the hole. Not in time. He legs it out. Late in the game with the offense trying to play catch up. They're looking for any momentum they can get. Any kind of opportunity to get back in this game. And an error can certainly do that. Let's see if that turns into something right here. Manager out of the dugout now. And he'll make a move to dip into the Nationals pen. Evan Lee out of the game. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout. And we'll be back with a new pitcher. Tanner Rainey takes over on the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 21, Tanner Rainey. Runner at first following the error. Shane Victorino stands in for the Phillies. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Carl Edwards Jr. preparing to come on if needed. Clay warming up as well. 
Pickoff throw. Utley gets back easily. Another move to first. And he's back again. One, two now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And he chases that one. Two out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. Not at worst-case scenario, it's weak GT. contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That one misses. Two and one. Utley off of first with two away. And the next pitch is way outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Right-handed reliever. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Richie Ashburn getting ready to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First and second, two down. Strike three, got him swinging. That's out number three. Phillies leave a couple. They trail things here, two nothing. Back here in Nationals Park. And now the center fielder, Victor Robles. The 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. The two on. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. The two two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that Number horizontal three, movement, seven. but most of the good ones Mike have Jeff. both vertical depth and Up that top. horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Up now for Washington, Michael Franco. The 2-1. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And the right hander deals. And now the count filled up three and two. And the righty deals. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. All seated. Escobar. So the Nats lineup turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Alcides Escobar. Here's a one-two. Swing and a slow roller. Off balance feed. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
The first Tough play right there. Number Didn't really 15. have enough time to set his feet yeah. and make a strong, accurate throw. Yeah. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Josh Bell. Whoa. Next Back offering there. is downstairs. Fouled off. He was late. Righty delivers. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Victorino makes the catch, and that'll do it. So one left for Washington, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Carl Edwards Jr., and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Jimmy Rollins stands in for the Phillies. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Next pitch is inside, ball three. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a 3-1 on the way. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hernandez makes the catch. One up, one down. Now batting the third baseman, Mike. So up next, Mike Schmidt. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a miss at one above the zone. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Next offering in the dirt, and it's three and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three two on the way. On the ground out to short. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The first base number six. Ryan Howard. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Ryan Howard, one for three. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Phillies are set down in order. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. And they're down 2 nothing. Bottom of the eighth, and now it's Juan Soto. One of the best in the game against right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, that's another story. Singy, is this more common today? Guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side? I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial period anymore. I mean, with the analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct, so... If you don't figure it out quickly against certain types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. Schmidt over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The catcher, number eight, Gary Carter. Gary Carter digging in for the Nationals. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Long run, nice grab. Two down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Nelson. 
Cruz. And now up for Washington, Nelson Cruz. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Next offering is fouled back. Right-hander kicks deals. And another ball. Line drive, caught! Three up, three down for Washington, but they're on top 2 nothing. pitcher on here number 64 and he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team welcome back all set to start the ninth in this one here's the left fielder Nick Castellanos and a pitch Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Two two. That's to third. Throws across the diamond. Now one gone in the ninth. The right fielder number three, Bryce Harper. Here's Harper now. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That one carrying. Gone! Bryce Harper goes deep. Third home run of the season. It's 2-1. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. He's two outs away, and now Chase Utley. Next one misses, and it's two and one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Ripped to short. Oh, great stop. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. The center fielder, number eight, Shane Victorino. Shane Victorino stands in for the Phillies. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And now one strike away. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Nationals claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus. 
push through to the finish line. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us. Washington Nationals, two runs, nine hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.